to the Wisdom Corner. My name is Mrs. Ellis and today I'm going to teach you how to recognize that when you do something wrong, how to make things right. Boys and girls, have you ever uh, said something to make someone cry? Well, that's a clear indication right away you've done something wrong. But there are times perhaps in your life when you've done something wrong that you've lied about it or tried to cover it up and you have this horrible feeling inside that things aren't right. Well, that's what I'm going to try to teach you today is how to recognize that feeling so that you know you need to make things right. Okay, so before we start, I want to introduce you to a few of my friends. So this is Grandpa Johnny. He's really wise. That means God's taught him a lot of stuff. And these are his grandchildren. This is Buster. He's in grade three. And his sister, Buffy, who is in kindergarten. And of course, their dog, Scruff. And the gang's all here. We are so excited to be here with you today. So the story I'm going to read to you today is called The Bricks in the Bag. Bricks in the bag. Here we go. I hope you enjoy it as much as we will. Buffy's life was so busy. She swam three times a week and had piano lessons every Saturday morning. Her sister Dot was getting older and she wanted to hang around her own friends. Mom and Dad were out every Wednesday night. Life just wasn't the same anymore. There's Buffy in the living room. One night Buffy was home alone uh, with her sister Dot who was up in her room doing her homework. Buffy was downstairs playing with her dog, Scruff, and Scruff loved to play. So Buffy decided to rub his tummy and then his ears and his nose. And he started to get really playful. Uh-oh, what's going to happen now? You know, when kids and dogs play in the house, what happens now? Well, they both got up and ran around the house, and all of a sudden, crash! Buffy knocked over Mom's favorite vase. Oh no, now I'm in big trouble, Buffy shouted. And when mom and dad returned home later that night, Buffy told mom that Scruff had knocked over the vase. Mom was so disappointed. Buffy knew she had told a lie. Oh my goodness, boys and girls, Buffy told a lie? Oh my goodness. But it was just a little lie, she thought. Well, that night, Buffy felt really bad about lying to her mom. Telling the lie made Buffy feel like there was something heavy on her back. Well, the next day at school, Buffy knocked over a paint can and spilled it all over the carpet. Buffy realized that she would be in big trouble if Mrs. Diamond found out. Uh oh, so now Buffy's telling another lie. Look at that. Oh dear. I am so glad there's a way out, boys and girls. Well, later, Mrs. Diamond asked the class, Who made this mess all over the carpet? Well, no one answered. And Buffy just hung her head. She knew that by not telling the truth, she was hiding another lie. That lie, added to the one she told last night, made Buffy feel like there was something even heavier on her back. But she didn't know what it was. And Buffy went up to her room and she was feeling really sad. She knew she had lied twice. Oh well, she thought, I'll get over it. Well, the weekend finally arrived and Buffy was looking forward to spending time with her mom and her sister Dot. Here's Buffy up in her room. She's feeling really sad right now. Mom and Dot always made cookies together and Buffy loved to watch them bake. Most of all, Buffy loved to eat the cookies. And today, Mom and Dot were going to make Buffy's favorite cookies, oatmeal chocolate chip. Mmm, I can't wait, thought Buffy. Ooh, oatmeal chocolate chip, they're my favorite too. When Buffy went downstairs to have a cookie, Mom said, Buffy, I'm afraid that you can only have one cookie, as Dot and I made these for the church bazaar, and we're going to sell them tomorrow. And by the way, we have to go and pick up some groceries, but we'll be back soon. Remember, one cookie. Now, do you think Buffy has the strength to only have one cookie, boys and girls? We will see. Buffy was so disappointed that she could only have one cookie, and then a thought occurred to her as Mom and Dot drove away. Buffy realized that her dad was in the basement fixing something so he wouldn't even notice her eating the cookies. Well, those cookies sure look good. No one will miss them, she thought. But Buffy ate more than half the cookies herself. And then she bagged a few more 
to take to her friend's house. Oh, no, boys and girls. She was only told to have one cookie. What's going to happen now? Well, when Mom and Dot came home, they were horrified. Where have all the cookies gone? asked Mom. When Mom came upstairs to Buffy's bedroom, Mom gave her a stern look and asked, Did you eat all the cookies, Buffy? Well, no, I didn't, said Buffy. You said I could only have one, remember? It must have been Scruff. He likes cookies too, you know. Poor Scruff. He's getting blamed a lot in the story, isn't he? Boy, Buffy's going to have to do some fess up and fixing with Scruff. Look here. Yikes. He's out of here. Poor Scruff. This was the third lie Buffy had told in just two days. She knew she had done it. And as she walked around her room, she realized that the feeling she was having made her feel like there was something really, really heavy on her back. And she felt really, really sad. Well, the next day, Buffy was riding her bike by Grandpa Johnny's house. There she is, feeling really, really sad. Hello, Buffy. It's great to see you, said Grandpa Johnny. How are you doing? Well, Buffy stopped her bike really quickly, and she couldn't wait to see her grandpa. Oh, how she loved her Grandpa Johnny so much. As Buffy hugged her grandpa really tightly, she said, eh, I'm okay, I guess. So here she's feeling really, really bad for telling those lies. Good job, Grandpa Johnny comes to the rescue. Buffy knew she could trust him with secrets. Some people say he's wise, and that means he knows a lot of stuff. Just okay, asked Grandpa Johnny. Well, feeling, like, feeling like she couldn't keep it in any longer, Buffy blurted out, It feels like there's something really heavy on my back, and I don't know what it is, and I don't feel very well, she said. That Buffy's not feeling very well. well. Grandpa Johnny knelt down to Buffy and smiled. Have you done something wrong, dear? He asked. Well, said Buffy, yeah, I guess I have. I told some lies and now it makes me feel like there's something really heavy on my back, Buffy said. And wise old Grandpa Johnny just smiled. He just smiled because he knows the answers. He's wise. He told Buffy that the heavy feeling she was having on her back reminded him of a story called the bricks in the bag. Hey, that's our story. He explained, we all carry a bag over our shoulders. And when we do something wrong, like lying, and we don't apologize for it, it's like putting a brick in our bag. And every time we do something wrong that we don't apologize for, we put another brick in our bag. So here is he explaining the bricks in the bag. And soon the bricks becomes really heavy on our back. Could that be the weight that you're feeling? asked Grandpa Johnny. Yes, that's exactly how it feels. It feels like I have a bag of bricks on my back. What can I do? asked Buffy. Well, Grandpa replied, you have to go to each person and tell them what you've done wrong. Go to each person and tell them what you've done wrong. And you need to ask for their forgiveness. And when you do this, the heavy feeling on your back will slowly start to disappear as each brick or guilty feeling is removed. Buffy went home that night and apologized to her mom and her sister Dot for breaking the vase and for eating all the cookies. Well, look how happy she is now, boys and girls. She's feeling much better. And the next day at school, she told Mrs. Diamond that she was the one who knocked over the paint. And Buffy started to feel great. And the heavy feeling that she had on her back, like the bag of bricks, was totally gone. Grandpa Johnny was right, thought Buffy. Isn't that amazing? So, so great. Buffy was so happy to have a solution to her problem. No more baggage for Buffy. And from that day forward, Buffy learned that it is easier to tell the truth and apologize for her mistakes than to have the feeling of carrying a bag of bricks on her back. Wow, what a wonderful story, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. It's so great to have uh, solutions to our problems. But there's one thing that I noticed in the story. Who did Buffy not say she was sorry to? You're right, it was Scruff. So Buffy, do you have something to say to Scruff for blaming him, for blaming him for all the things that you did? Yeah, so Buffy just apologized to Scruff and now Scruff's so happy. They could be friends again and play again because they were fessing up and fixing up to each other. That's so great. So boys and girls in the story, what did Buffy do that was wrong? Well, what did she do that was wrong? Well, you know what? You're right. She ignored her conscience, which is her feelings inside, and 
fear took over. She was really, really afraid. And she blamed the doll. She blamed poor Scruff. And so every time we do something wrong, it's just like, here we have a brick. It's like we're given a brick, but we have a choice. We could either lie and cover up this brick, and put it, carry it over our shoulder, or we can go and apologize for our mistakes right away and throw the brick away. That's how simple it is, okay? So here's an example. So this morning, I accidentally said something that hurt my husband's feelings. Now, what happens to me when I have, when I do something wrong is I get this feeling, this horrible feeling in my stomach. It's like a pit and it just crunches up in my stomach. And it's like that until I, until I ask my husband to forgive me. And so with Buffy, it's like that, this brick is on her back and she's carrying it around until she deals with it. So boys and girls, you may have a pit in your stomach or you may have a brick that you're carrying around in your bag, but until you deal with it, it's going to stay there. So we have a choice. Like I said, get rid of the brick by fessing up and fixing up and apologizing, or we can carry it around. Okay. So what happens if we carry our bricks around? We don't, we lie, we cover up, and we carry the brick around in our bag. What happens? You're right. You know, these edges here of the bag, or sorry, of the brick are really, really sharp and pointy. And eventually when we carry our bag around and it's really, really heavy of all the, the lies and things that we've told and done wrong, look what happens. The bag is starting to rip and the bricks are going to fall out eventually, aren't they? And this means that we have too much going on. Our bag is too heavy. We've got to deal with it. The Bible says that our sins will find us out. In Numbers, in Numbers 32, 23, the Bible says, But if you fail to do this, you will be sinning against the Lord, and you may be sure that your sins will find you out. So that's just like this bag. We don't want our sins falling out and everybody seeing our sins. We want to make sure that when we do something wrong, we deal with it and we throw our bag away and it's now empty. All right. So in the previous video that we did called Fess Up and Fix Up, I teach you how to make things right, how to fess up and fix up with everyone. So you can watch that video. And the great news is, boys and girls, that God is so faithful. He's so loving. He will forgive us when we make mistakes. So we don't have to lie. We can just fess up and fix up and make things right with him and with, and with each other. So in, in 1 John 1, 9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So that means he will forgive us and so will we. So don't ignore that heavy feeling. Don't ignore the brick that you're given and don't put it in your bag. Deal with it right away. Get rid of your brick. Take it out of your bag. Throw it away. Apologize. And now you've got an empty bag. And that's a pretty easy load to carry. So your little homework for this week, uh-huh, I said a little bit of homework. It's not too hard. Get a bag and write a little note on it and stick it on saying, no bricks in my bag, and keep it in your room. And that's an indication to you that your bag is empty of all the bad things that you've done because you've fessed up and fixed up. You've thrown the bricks away and your bag is empty. All right, that's so great. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us here today. It's always a pleasure to... Uh, to, for you to be with us here at the Wisdom Corner. Say goodbye to the gang. Say goodbye to Grandpa Johnny, Buster, Buffy, and Scruff. Bye, everybody. Stay safe and be blessed.